Oh, Catherine oh, Orford is the author of Become Your Number One Fan. It's about overcoming your inner critic and living your best life. And Catherine is here with us this morning. And first, I have to say, this must be a number one fan <laughs> dress. I feel like we're, you know, I guess it's confidence or something. I don't know. But it's you look very nice. And so do you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So first, we want to talk a little bit about you. Um, you say that you had a nervous breakdown, and that's what kind of got this all going. Absolutely. Um, my biggest nightmare, I thought I had met the man of my dreams. Mm. He turned into my biggest nightmare. Oh. I did not know I was adopted at the time. So when he dumped me oh, wow. and overlapped his women and went on to marry her three months later, oh, gosh. Um, I put on my superwoman coat mm -hmm. and pretended I was okay, but I wasn't okay mm -hmm. inside. I did that for about nine months and then ultimately inside took over. Okay. And I had a nervous breakdown, was ready to take my own life. Wow. Um, Thankfully, two of my beautiful students' mums were there for me in my darkest hour, and I realized that one of them had turned up with a bunch of flowers on the day I was going to take my life and said, oh, wow. we know you're going through a really hard time, and we want you to know how much we love you. Oh, wow. And I went, he doesn't love me, but all these other people do, so mm -hmm. maybe it's time that I learn to love me mm -hmm. from the inside out instead of looking for acknowledgement from everyone else. Mm -hmm. And then 10 years later, I found out I was adopted, and that made more sense as to why I had felt so worthless oh. back then. And, but, you know, it took me on a totally different trajectory. I went, I want to learn how to, what is self-esteem? How can mm -hmm. I take charge? Mm -hmm. um, what is self-worth? What is self-belief? Mm -hmm. And studied with the world, the world best in that, mm -hmm. and now I do that myself. Okay, and so the book came about, uh, Become Your Number One Fan. And so yes. what, are, what, give me an idea of how you become your number one fan. The one thing that the thousands of people that I have spoken to about this say, mm -hmm including the woman in the Uber on the way here, mm -hmm. is this inner critic that mm -hmm. gets in the way, that puts us down. And, you know, we all have it to varying mm -hmm. degrees. Some mm -hmm. people have it at this end of the spectrum, some are at this end. Mm -hmm. But it's more about how we manage it. Okay. And we can reprogram it. Okay. And that's really cool. We can actually turn it into a cheer squad. Okay. And so it's ultimately interrupting the pattern. Okay. And we've learned that neurons that fire together wire together. So mm -hmm. it's a case of, okay, um, I'm not going to allow that thought to take over. I'm going to replace it with something else. Mm -hmm. And if people do go to our website, becomeyournumberonefan.com, mm -hmm. they can sign up for a five-part free video series mm -hmm. where I'll actually talk them through exactly how to do that. Mm -hmm. And but I can't tell you, it's so empowering when mm -hmm. that inner critic is gone. Yeah. Well, and some of us use that inner critic to work harder and to try harder, but I guess there is a point where it goes too far. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so let's talk about that compare and despair. Women in particular, mm -hmm. we are very good at comparing ourselves with other other women. Mm -hmm. I know as a dancer, you know, a oh. former professional dancer, I spent my whole life looking in a mirror and comparing myself and I didn't jump as high as this person or have as much flexibility as that person. Mm -hmm. And again, the more people I speak to, the more of us that tend to do that. And what I really, really recommend they do, which was certainly what I was in all of that all those years ago, is instead of comparing and despairing, mm -hmm. if there's something that somebody knows how to do that you don't, mm -hmm. don't compare and despair. Go ask them. Say to them, how did you get so good at that? Or mm -hmm. whatever it is, because most people are willing to tell you. Uh -huh. And then compare and dare oh, I like instead that. of despair. Okay. So compare and dare to be the best version of you, mm -hmm. that whatever it is that you look up to in that person. Mm -hmm. And before we let you go, how do we start telling a new story? We start reconnecting with the little tiny child that lives mm -hmm. inside of all of us. Mm -hmm. So everybody I work with, I ask them to find a picture of themselves mm -hmm. aged between about 18 months and two because oh, wow. up until then we can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. We have the self-esteem, the self-worth. Mm -hmm. We really think we can do anything and we can. So if you can get a picture of yourself from 18 months to two, put it up where you're going to see it morning and evening, mm -hmm. just as you wake up, look in that tiny child's eyes, maybe put it on a screensaver on your, on your device. Mm -hmm. And every time that inner critic is actually talking to you, go, hmm, would I speak to that little child that way? Mm. And then all of a sudden, everything will shift and you'll start treating yourself with love and respect. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Catherine. Certainly appreciate it.
And again, the book is called Become Your Number One Fan. It's available wherever books are sold.